Red squirrels are really fascinating native mammals and it can be a real treat to watch them leaping effortlessly through the canopy. So let's take a look at how to spot them and also how to recognise some of the signs that they leave behind. The red squirrel is quite easy to recognise. It has reddish brown fur, which often gets darker in the winter. It can sometimes have a bit of a greyish tinge. Red squirrels are fairly small and they have distinctive ear tufts. Towards the end of the summer, their tails are often bleached blonde by the sun. The majority of them are in Scotland and there are some pockets in other parts of Britain and Ireland. They live in various different kinds of woodlands and pine woods are one of the kinds of woods where they do really well. Red squirrels are most active early in the morning, so this is the best time to see them. They don't like wet or windy weather, so you've got a better chance of seeing them if it's calm and dry. A good way to see them is just to sit or stand quietly and scan around. Really look for movement, and you might be lucky enough to spot one. They also have various vocal calls as well, and you can sometimes hear during their mating chases, or if they're alarmed, a kind of chattering call. It goes something like If you hear that, that's also a good way to spot them. Feeding signs are a really good clue. Now squirrels have quite a varied diet. Here we've got a Scots pine cone that's intact. And now here is a cone that's actually been opened up by a red squirrel. And we can see it's been bitten down. What they're actually trying to get is the energy rich seed inside the cone. Interestingly, squirrels can be either right or left handed and a few of them are ambidextrous, much like humans. And sometimes on the cone, you can actually tell this from the angle of the bite. So in this case, we've got some of the scales have been bitten off from the right at an angle going up to the left. That means this was a right handed squirrel that did this. Another clue to look for are squirrel nests, which are known as drays. And these tend to be a roughly football sized sphere of twigs. You most often see them about six to eight meters up in a tree and usually tucked up against the trunk positioned on a branch. They can be confused with bird nests, but squirrel drays are usually more spherical than the nests of most of our native birds. You can't really tell red from gray squirrels just from these signs, but if you do find any of these clues, it's really worth sitting or standing at the base of a tree, keeping an ear or an eye out, and you may be lucky enough to spot a red squirrel. Good luck and happy squirrel spotting.